everybody, it's Hannah. Welcome back to my channel. Okay, my ring light is like really bright. Is that better? I don't know. I do think I found a good spot to film my videos though. Like my bookshelf's right here. It's kind of terrific, you guys. Love it. <laughs> I can't even tell you guys how good it feels to be sitting back down and filming videos again in front of my camera. It's so much fun. I feel so motivated now and I don't know it's just really good to be back sorry I'm kind of awkward I know it's been a minute since I filmed so just bear with me but for today's video I am sitting down with you guys and doing my very first book haul of 2019 the books that I got there's one that I was actually sent by a publisher which I'm really excited about because it's the first time it's ever happened to me so I like almost cried whenever I got the email and the other ones are from a used bookstore here in my area that I went to today so also the bookstore had like a really really awesome sale because it was buy one book and get one free so i got quite a few so the first book was the one i told you i got sent by a publisher and it is the book thomas wildest and the book of sorrows by jm bergen i'm probably gonna end up reading this and do an entire separate review video for it because this is like i said the first time this has ever happened to me so i'm really excited about it it is a middle grade novel and it has magic in it. It's also been kind of compared to Harry Potter somewhat. I'll just read you guys a summary. Magic is real, Thomas. No matter what happens, always remember that magic is real. Seven years has passed and Thomas hasn't forgotten. He hasn't forgotten the blue of his dad's eyes either or the tickle of beard on his cheeks as they hug goodbye. Last moments together are memorable, even if you don't know that's what you're having at the time. Now with his 13th birthday rapidly approaching, Thomas's search for magic is about to take a radical and unexpected turn. At an out-of-the-way shop filled with dusty leather books, a strange little man with gold-flecked eyes offers him an ancient text called the Book of Sorrows. The price is high and the rules are strict, but there's no way Thomas can resist the chance to look inside. With the mysterious book guiding the way, a strange new world is revealed, a world in which Thomas has a name and destiny far more extraordinary than he ever imagined. But time is short. Even as Thomas uncovers his secret family history, enemies emerge, threatening to end his rise to power and destroy everything he holds dear. That sounds terrific. I'm so excited about this. I can't even explain it. Um, I know Emmy from Emmy Rose Reads also got it. We discussed Buddy reading it. I'm not sure if that's still going to happen or not because I don't know when she plans on starting it. But I will keep you updated with information about that book as I get it. The first book I got isn't for me, but it's for my friend Gabby. She's one of my best friends. She's one of my coworkers, And she loves Edgar Allan Poe. And I found an entire bind up of his work, which is just right here just simple but I don't know if she already owns it I tried to ask one of our other friends and I could not get a confirmation so I bought it anyways <laughs> because I figured even if she already has it now she just has another one I might write a cute little note like on the inside cover or something just because she's been a really good friend to me lately and I'm really thankful to have her around so I just thought it'd be nice to do something nice for her up next we have the ABC murders by Agatha Christie I literally don't know anything about this book at all except I had a TA from my creative writing class suggest that I read something by Agatha Christie and this is one of the ones with like I can't speak English ever <laughs> this is one of the ones like with where it's I had a hold on books where it was a title that I recognized as like being sort of familiar to me and having heard good things about it so I picked up this one so I'm really excited to give it a shot because I love mysteries because you guys know if you've been around on my channel for long enough I'm obsessed with Nancy Drew and I have been since I was little I like literally wanted to grow up and be Nancy Drew which on a side tangent I think they're making a new movie but then I also heard that they're making a show on the CW channel I'm not sure if that's like been like 100% confirmed or not but like there was some posts floating around on Twitter about the actress that's supposed to play her and if that's the case I'm kind of excited but like also they should have hopped on this bandwagon whenever I was little because I would have been all over that <laughs> book I got is Leaves of Grass by Walt Whitman I literally only picked this book up because today as I'm filming it's February 15th and last night for Valentine's Day I was watching The Notebook for like the hundredth time and I forgot that in that movie I don't know if it's mentioned in the book The Notebook or not by Nicholas Sparks but in the movie at least Noah always reads Whitman and they talk about Leaves of Grass a few different times in the movie and so when I saw it today I just kind of had to pick it up <laughs> I've never read anything by Whitman before, but apparently his poetry is supposed to be kind of like, you know, iconic. <laughs> so I figured it'd be something good to read and give it a shot. I'll let you guys know if I like it. 
And up next, we have the portable Louisa May Alcott. Um, basically, this is just a bind up of short stories and shorter novels that Louisa May Alcott has written because I love Little Women. It's one of my favorite books. Do I have that one here with me? Oh, I do. It's like way up high on my bookshelf. Never mind. I was going to get it down and show you guys. But it's been one of my favorite books since I was little. And I've never really read too much else that she has written. So I figured it would be nice to read some of her short stories because she's a terrific writer. Obviously. So, <laughs> once again, just something else I figured would be a good book for me to pick up and give it a shot. Last book I have, I was really excited about because a couple years ago this was floating around on booktube a lot. And I heard phenomenal things about it and it, that's A Little Life by Hanya Yanagahara. I'm really sorry if I don't pronounce names right. You guys know I'm notorious for not being able to pronounce people's names and I'm so embarrassed about it still to this day but it is what it is. <laughs> Roll with me. So this one is like a monster of a book. This is like 800 pages but I'm hoping that I'll still uh, be like obsessed with it because everybody else seemed to be obsessed with it whenever it first became popular. Again, I'll just read you the summary of this book just so you guys know what it's about. A little life follows four college classmates broke adrift and buoyed only by their friendship and ambition as they move to New York in search of fame and fortune. While their relationships, which are tinged by addiction, success, and pride, deepen over the decades, the men are held together by their devotion to the brilliant Jude, a man scarred by an unspeakable childhood trauma, a hymn to brotherly bonds, and a masterful dis Wow, I can't read today either. <laughs> and a masterful depiction of love in the 21st century. Hanya Yanagahara's stunning novel is about the families we are born into and those that we make for ourselves. So I think this just sounds like a beautiful story about friendship that just lasts over life. And I get that. I have friends like that that I feel like are going to be around forever, which I love. And so I think that will be a fun story to read and get really invested into. Half of this haul... When I was walking through that bookstore today, I kind of yelped when I saw it because I've had this book on my Amazon wish list since like the beginning of time. And it's a graphic novel. And you guys know that those are normally really expensive. I'm about to get the hiccups. Oh my god. Anyways, graphic novels are normally pretty expensive. I got this one for $7, you guys. And that is The Sculptor by Scott McCloud. And this book, once again, massive graphic novel with beautiful, beautiful art style. Kind of all in this like, bluish tint. I literally don't know what this is about at all. I just know that it's supposed to be really, really phenomenal. And I saw it, so I picked it up. <laughs> right, everybody, that was it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. If you've read any of the books that I mentioned in this video, feel free to leave a comment down below and tell me what you thought of them. And if I should really be as excited as I am about all of them. Um, yeah, I'm, thank you guys for watching my video, and I will see you guys next time. Bye!